everyone, and welcome back to Mandatee and Me. Um, we're playing Tales of the Neon Sea again. I'm so excited. Uh, as you remember last time, uh, Rex's plan was to go out drinking with an old friend. Ended up um, meeting up with another old friend. And instead of actually drinking with them for part of the night, he decided to go and just get lost in a wine cellar and do a bunch of puzzles. So, um, that seems about right. It's kind of like going to a party and there's all these people and you're like, hmm, they've got a cat. Excuse me. Anyway, so, um, but he did end up polishing off the night with a Royd and I believe his name was Zune. So, uh, let's see how, uh, Rex's hangover is treating him. Oh, sleepy, sleepy. Ugh, my head hurts so bad. I shouldn't have drunk so much last night. How did they even get back home? Well, that's never a good question. Hey, BBX, bring me some sobering medicine. So little Elizabeth. Oh, right, that mobile junk heap is out of commission. I guess I have to get it myself. There should be some in the cooler nearby. Miss Detective Agency, Friday at noon. Good lord. Okay, let's just go ahead and see what on earth has been happening here. Oh yeah, we met Mr. Wondertails. Talking about stories, you should have heard Mr. D Wondertails' story somewhere. Dr. Wondertails has been to every corner of the world, made countless friends, and collected all kinds of mysterious treasures. Besides, he left behind so many exciting adventure stories. He lived on exploration, and he himself was a definition of bravery. A Sumatran blacktail monkey named Coconut went through all the adventures with the doc, and he had saved the doc's life in a couple critical moments. The doc called him the best assistant in the world, and the signature look was the faith hat on his head. His fortune started from what his grandfather had left him. With the huge book collection and an impressive amount of funds, the doc became a gentleman with both wisdom and wealth. He had won numerous awards and credits with his talent and had even acquired himself a knighthood. An ordinary day um, of during peak time, on an ordinary day of peak time, Dr. Wondertails disappeared from the public. The rumor had it that he had been killed in his adventure, or that he had become an emperor on some island, or that he still lives somewhere with his monkey assistant. No matter what the truth is, he has become the legend from mouth to mouth. Hmm. We don't have these guys. I'm hoping we pick them up eventually. Oh, exciting. Anything else? I don't think so. Ah, little Elizabeth, hello. Elizabeth, why are you at my place? Where's William? She's very helpful. Why is there an extra trophy? Ugh, I'm seeing double. Glory from the past. Oh, is it because of our conversation? Um, wait. 79 graduate. Excellent model student for three successive years. Acquired super investigative officer qualifications two months after employment. National Police Officer of the Year. Excellence in case solving. City Hero Medal. These past glories are now sleeping in the cabinet in the corner. Let's let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, it's because we played blackjack, I think. He said that he, he knew something or... I don't know. Interesting. Is this is cooler. I'm all out. Well, that's no good. Guess I'll need to make some more. Now, if only I could work called Pet Recipe. I think there's a copy of it on the wall near the stairs. On the wall near the stairs. Why would you keep... Why wouldn't you keep it in, like, your kitchen? Is that the missing recipe? Oh, there it is. Sobering drug recipe. Memo update. 
The bananas? Catnip? Hmm. There should be enough ingredients in the studio to make this sobering drug, but the worry-free herb must be fresh. I should grab some from the living room. What the hell? Am I still intoxicated or is there really a crowd of cats partying in my living room? Um, I'm sorry, what is happening in here? Oh, this is, this is not appropriate. Is that William? William, you've got explaining to do, pal. And who's that new white cat? You switched girlfriends already? I didn't know you were so popular. No wonder Elizabeth doesn't want to come downstairs. Oh, he's in the cat house right now. This cat seems to be grumpy. Better leave it alone. Oh, is this the, the gal that gave him the ball? These two kittens are actually dancing. I could murder William for this. Whoa, this little guy is really going to town on the catnip. What is he, an addict or something? Oh my goodness. Wait, did they break his pot? That's an urn. Thought we were supposed to get like something from the living room. Can we turn on the lights? Like, what's going on here? Oh wait, why is our monkey? Why is that monkey face in here? Wait, what is this monkey mask doing here? Oh, Rex. There are no important memos. Um. There's a butt on his wall. It never gets old. Whoa, what happened to his plant? Where's the worry-free herb? Are these bite marks? <sighs> um, excuse you. Hello? Um, Mr. Like Stoner Cat, did you eat my herb? Oh, this is a group photo. This is a group photo from the police college. There are 38 students and three instructors, and they all look confident, happy, and full of hope, uh, as they should do after cracking a major drug test, drug, major drug case during training. Good God. Words. Aw, that's nice, but let's go in the kitchen, because obviously there is some stuff happening in Rex's house. Oh look, it's the fat cat! Hey buddy! Hey fatty, we meet again. I guess my washing basket is more comfortable than Mrs. Perry's dumpster. Is that my worry-free herb you've got there? Come on fatty, wake up. I need that worry-free herb more than you do. A Falkenberg! That's his name? Oh, oh meow! Ugh, I need food to wake him up. Did I see some back at the party? Maybe? It's really not a party without food anyway. Jeez. Um, so we have some snacks. Snacks. Uh, oh yeah, the cat food that he uses to bribe William. William. You cat womanizer. <laughs> Falkenberg. Here, have some of this. It's stinky. Go get your herb here, sir. According to the ancient medicine books, the worry-free herb is good for internal organs, mental health, and eyesight. This worry-free herb should be enough for the sobering drug. It's time to head back upstairs. This music, though. I have so many questions about this worry-free herb that I probably do not want the answers to. Oh, I got a little pokey guy back here. Oh well. Poor 
Pork Shop. Oh wait, did I go too far? I did. Aw, oh, poor BBX. Oh, fella. Alright, well. Oh wait. Is this the chem station I need? I've collected the herb. Now I should follow the recipe. Okay, hold on. Let's do oh. inventory notes. All right. Guys, I'm going to take a picture of this because I don't know how this kind of. Hmm. I really should just put a notebook down here. Okay, so my phone thinks that that is text um that it should scan but it did not scan it how any normal person would scan it okay it was all like okay um all right let's try this again i need to follow the recipe so we're gonna put the herb in the mortar and pestle And then we need to, like, ma macerate it? I think that's the right term. Okay. Alright, um... Okay, so we need... Salt. Okay. So with the can't put this material in this vessel. Eight. Oh, okay. Then we need to mix together. No. Can we combine? So that's what we need to do. Oh wait, do we have to boil the salt out of the saline? No, it's not letting me... There we go. I think we have to boil saline. Let's try this again. Okay, so let's go ahead and in, because I think, why can't we? I don't understand, like isn't that how you make, isn't that how we're gonna get the salt? picture again.
Okay, it doesn't want me to do that yet. Okay, so I ground the herb. I've done that, right? that out of there. Okay, so really doesn't want me putting the saline in, in there, even though that's clearly the Bunsen burner. Okay. And then together but that's not what it's gonna let me do can I put this in here oh okay that was done I... okay Like you would need to boil that. Yeah. Oh, do I need to put it in here to mix it? No, don't do that. Okay, I didn't realize that was a liquid. Shake it. on the phone. Good morning, Royd. You're sober already? That You were pretty wasted last night. I'm feeling much better, thanks to a few colorful chemicals and a pinch of herb. Don't tell me you took that old quack sobering drug. Are you still drinking that? About the photos of the implant device, the new SMS has locked up the whole case, and no one can access it anymore. There's no way we can get the photos now. Your hands are pretty tied, aren't they? Okay, I got it. Oh, I have a new message. Uh, Rex is kind of a horn dog. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Brayden. Oh, the the valet. Thank you very much for accepting this task. I included all information regarding my partner Angela in the appendix. Hopefully, it will be of some use. Thanks, Angela. Eighteen years old. Asymmetric. No, oh, <laughs> arith arithmetic ability level six. Power limit value fifty four. Model ZF74, she likes human beings and lives a life like a human being. Bubbly personality, 2130 to 2139, worked at the Bellflower House in the Underbridge District, 2039 June, now working as a waitress at the Fantasy Jellyfish. A missing robot case in Underbridge District? This won't be easy. Roy can't get the photo, so I need to draw that thing from my memory. And wow, Rex is Super busy today. New clients. Hi, Mr. Detective. You have a parcel. A parcel? The parcel is addressed to Mr. Rex. There you go. Have a good day. It's probably catnip. 
They're probably postmates, postmating uh, stuff. The courier girl looked weird. Maybe it's a side effect of that drug cocktail. This parcel is for me, but the rain has blurred the sender's name. The address is still vaguely recognizable. Is that the Underbridge District? My friends there would never send me gifts. I better scan this before opening, just in case. Nothing on the sensors. Let's open it. I don't know. It just auto-saved. No, thank you. A fuzzy bunny rabbit. Who is bored enough to play such a prank? An eerie eyeball sewn onto the right eye. This looks like evidence from the Scott Hotel murder case. There are sewing marks on the chest of the puppet. What's been sewn inside? The device. It looks like the one in the robot's brain yesterday. And this symbol on the side is from the region Bisson. Religion Bisson. Um, okay. Well, let's investigate... Oh, guys, this is not great. You are... Noah, what the hell is going on? Long time no see, detective. Whew, I had the same hallucination yesterday. But why wouldn't that guy appear in it? But why would that guy appear in it? Is he still alive? I shot him yesterday, but his body was never recovered, and I haven't heard a thing about him since. This bunny rabbit belongs to the victim of the Scott Hotel murder case when Noah murdered the family... that fir family of four. What does the sender want by sending me a fluffy toy and this device? This de device has a symbol of the song that Noah used a lot, and it looks like the implant device found on the steward robot in Mrs. Perry's apartment. Let's go ask the old man at the repair shop about that. He loves this stuff. Man, I don't trust that guy at all. He's super shady. Shall I head to the repair shop now? Um, let's finish up at home first. Okay, what do we need to do, though? Oh, yeah. All the notes on Noah and the link cases here. I won't ever be able to forget about this investigation. Hmm. So, housewife um, named Lisa. The victim was an ordinary civilian housewife. The witness is the victim's husband, Mandy, who is the delivery man of the town. I actually learned that not that long ago, that um, Mandy can also be like a nickname for Manuel or Manuel, which I think is kind of interesting, or uh, Miranda. Anyway, the witness found the victim murdered when he got back home from work. The murderer mutilated the victim's body and created some type of sculpture with the body parts and a damaged town robot. Okay, that's like some Hannibal level stuff right there. Blood and suspected murder mutilation tools were found at the crime scene. Nothing relevant to the murderer was found, so Mandy is considered the prime suspect at the moment. Addendum. Mandy developed depression after the murder and committed suicide a year later. Um, note 1. No conclusion can be made regarding the situation of missing organs due to a lack of information. Note 2. Following the bizarre murder of the Starlight City singer, Investigators brought up this case again, believing the two to be linked in this part of a serial murder case. Forensic experts who performed the autopsy had different opinions, as the way the murderer created the sculptures was messy and orderless in the Arthur Flory town case, while the mutilation of the singer sculpture murder was a was highly skillful. Detector Gadget holds reservation to the uh, to the opinions. Oh, there's so many notes, guys. <clears throat> public notice. To all public security bureaus of Alta State, September 7, 2020, 2126, the Arthur Forey Town and Starlight City sculpture murder cases are now considered to have been committed by the same suspect. Currently, the suspect is still on the loose, so police forces from all over the state will work together to track down the murderer. Suspect information. Gender, male, age 20 to 25, height about 170 centimeters. The suspect is, slight, is slightly thin in stature and is likely to be mentally disordered. The suspect is believed to be isolated and unsociable and capable of avoiding detection. 
As the two crime scenes are quite distinct from each other, it's very likely that the suspect has a personal vehicle and was able to enter the crime scene ahead of time and wait patiently for his target. All police forces should know that they are required to check all vehicles and people coming into the state and keep a good record of relevant information. Someone with connections to the police recently revealed that the singer Cheryl's murder is part of a serial murder case and that the murderer still remains on the loose. A reporter questioned the police spokesperson during the press conference about the rumor, but did not receive a direct answer. As the watchdog for a civilian personal secure for personal security, we sincerely hope the police can take appropriate action instead of covering up their failings by holding back the truth. Um, we got some newspaper articles. Um, yesterday, the famous female singer Cheryl was found murdered in her dressing room mere minutes before she was due to perform at City Hall. Her mutilated body parts were found, combined with those of her robot assistant, into a religious sculpture by City Hall staff, said an anonymous source. Was this atrocity committed by a radical and fanatic congregation? So far, no religious organization has claimed has claimed responsible for the mur murder. This is such a brutal and heinous crime, and we wonder when the police are going to arrest the suspect. Will there be more victims? We'll follow up on this. Um, <clears throat> file for the Singer Sculpture Murder. Singer Sculpture Murder filed on uh, July 7, 2126, located City Hall, Starlight City. Case record. Security staff members found the sculpture made from the victims and robots mutilated body parts in Singer's dressing room as he arrived to deliver five-minute stage cue on July 4, 2126. Sculpture nicknamed the Somme the White because of its look. Detective Gadget, who is in charge of crime scene investigation, found sign of new god Besson at bottom of sculpture. The rest of the victim's body was put into a container and stored in the victim's personal locker in the theater. Note, the murder, murderer removed the throat while the victim was still alive, so the chance of organ selling or transplanting is high. Transaction records on the human organ black market should be watched closely for possible clues of the murderer. According to the autopsy report, the throat organ was not found in either the sculpture or among the rest of the body parts. Missing organ, trachea, or throat. Ew. So I'm guessing in the future you could probably just transplant anything. The religious sculpture and ceremony arrangement both point to a new religious group that worship a new god. I've done research on documents on this new religion and found out that they worship more than one god. Their belief has a, a strong personal reference. The sign and sculpture at the crime scene points to a god called Besson from the Roverism, who stands for fusion and communication. But some special methods I managed to join this suspicious Roverism and participated in the sacrifice ceremony of the Besson followers. These followers are quite extreme and like most new religions that, were fast, that want fast expansion, most followers are keen on preaching their doctrine. Their sacrifice ceremony looks quite bizarre and incomprehensible that there is nothing similar to the murderer's ceremony arrangement and their sacrifice is kind of similar to the shaman ceremony of some tribes of the last century. So I don't think they have anything to do with the murderer. The murderer might be an independent believer who has mental diseases or the murderer did this to distract us to mislead the police. <clears throat> Excluding the first case due to insufficient records, all murders prior involved victims with missing organs. The organs were taken away by the murderer, but the reason why is unclear. As per the forensic expert's testimony, the murderer seems to be refining his skills and familiarity with anatomy, but why is he doing this? The forensic expert proposed a possibility during our communications that the murderer has been using the stolen organs to replace some diseased organs. The reason he has been practicing his skills is to help with carrying out organ replacement. Who could be the one that has the diseased organs? In the third case, a pattern similar to that in the summoning ceremony was found at the crime scene in addition to other marks of cult sacrifice. From the look of the crime scene, the murderer is likely to be fol a follower of Besson 
and he may have committed these murders for a fanatic religious ceremony. From the latter case, the later cases, the murder is found to be very precise when it comes to ceremony setups. Is the murderer mentally disordered? Uh, let's see. International waters, high sea cruise. The AED board decided to throw a celebration party following a monumental breakthrough in the latest research of the new chip. The party was arranged on the luxurious cruise ship High Sea belonging to the company president. All board members of AED were killed in the private conference room on the ship. According to witness reports and the crime scene investigation, board members and administrative personnel of AED company were killed during the celebration party. The murder happened on a cruise ship in international waters, and ship staff didn't notice anything abnormal, and nothing unusual was captured by the on-site monitor system. Technicians later found the conference room monitor had been modified by the murderer and had been showing a pre-recorded loop, under the cover of which the murderer killed everyone in the conference room. At the time when the ship was found, 41 people, including people from AED and the ship crew, had been killed. Some body parts of the dead were arranged with servant robots into a sculpture of the messenger of messenger of garden. In a large ceremony setup was marked out of the bottom of the sculpture with blood. Apart from the body parts that were made into the sculpture, all bodies were cleaned with water and placed carefully in the deck. The liver of one body was confirmed missing after the investigation. Note, the murderer is believed to be a skilled hacker, which is something not noticed in previous cases. In this regard, he might be self-taught. In 2125, the government decided to investigate in Robot Riot Police, and AED won the contract. At the time when the new chip was about to be completed, all board members were killed. Afterwards, AED was purchased by IQM, which is now believed to be closely involved in the case. Missing organ, liver. The replacement organs proven through the evidence from the reinforced gene experiment 1885 based on all previous cases. Throat, liver, kidney. Mm. It's almost like somebody who had cancer. <sighs> Alright. Uh, carbon prison, um, Moor and Norse Coastal Cape, carbon prison sculpture. Victim Maria, uh, gender female, witness Smith gender male. Both the victim and the witness are prison police officers. The witness entered uh, cell block C to find the victim as she was late for the shift change. The witness found the victim and several prisoners killed and mutilated mercilessly. The murderer destroyed the, a prison ro service robot violently and made it into a sculpture of the twig of birch with the mutilated body parts of the dead. CSI later noted skillful techniques with, was the noted skillful technique was used. The witness then sounded the prison alarm. The monitoring system failed to notice anything or anyone suspicious, and neither did the other prisoners. Like the previous Culp sculpture cases, nothing related to the murderer's identity was found at the crime scene. The police are still investigating how the murderer entered the prison, committed the crime, and escaped without detection. Note 1. The Special Mission Squad believes that the murderer murderer is very familiar with the prison environment and monitored areas. This suggests that he could have worked at or been incarcerated in the prison before, but there is no further progress into the investigation so far. Note 2. According to the forensic experts, skin peelings were found on the deceased chest in this case. Ew. Oh gosh, there's more. The missing kidney. Score Hotel South New Sinu of St. Vic State. Um, score hotel sculpture case the family of four that was the family of four that was holiday were um, am I crazy the family of four that was holiday were killed and mutilated in the hotel room some body parts were made into a sculpture of um, of the king of white wings crime stain investigation records 
The murderer followed the wife who went back to the room herself and killed and mutilated her. Her body was made into a sculpture. Husband returned to the room early with two children, 11-year-old boy and 12-year-old girl, after getting wife's text message. The three victims were killed and mutilated in a similar way. Part of the bodies were sewn together and the body parts of the first victim to make the sculpture. Note, similar to the Singer sculpture murder case and the High Sea Cruise case, there was no fingerprints or identity information left at the scene. Uh, the kidney of the grown-up woman and the right kidney of the girl were not found at the scene. Okay, that, I just read that one. Okay. Um, 2127, uh, September 27th. Uh, 5.20 a.m., moving to destination, 8.17 a.m., arriving at destination, 11.03 a.m., can hear explosions coming from the location where the main force is being led by Victor, continuing the mission, 11.45 a.m., rescued Lena Todi, uh, 11.51 a.m., found the target while extracting, the target detonated the building after its left eye was shot, we were trapped in the collapse, 5.15 p.m., escaped successfully. Found and retrieved a beak mask after the fight with Noah. There are no traces of skin or hair in the mask, but there are slight traces of liquid. Upon investigation, sweat and sol soluble cells were found. According to this, the person seemed to be without an external skin layer, resulting in residual dissolving cells on the mask. Experts assume that this is the result of gene mutation. The DNA of this person doesn't match anything in known gene pools to the point where it's difficult to even call the creature human. I'm guessing that's why there is the eye on the rabbit. More newspaper clippings. The federal police have announced the establishment of special mission squad to deal with the recent serial murder cases. The famous detective gadget of Starlight City and international security investigator Victor are designated as the team leaders. The federal government has put high expectation on the team and the leaders are very confident of catching the murder when speaking with reporters. After the special mission squad was established, the leaders launched a uh, directed effort to identify and catch the culprit. However, the murderer simply directed the police into a trap. The murderer used explosive devices to create chaos and cause panic. Name, Gadget. Joined the police on the 6th of November, 2117 and worked in CSI and forensics. He solved several important cases and was lauded as one of the most excellent detectives in Starlight City. On 5th of August, 2126, Gadget was killed in an action regarding the sculpture cases. He lost his life while trying to protect innocent civilians. The police team are grieving for the detective Gadget and urge all police work together to catch a murderer so that Gadget didn't die for nothing. Ooh. That was a lot to take in. This is like very, um, yeah, it's, it reminds me of, um, one of the serial killers from the TV show Hannibal, the person who is making the sculptures. Oof. Weird. But I mean, like, if you just assume that, you know, there are just whatever makes a person like that you know it would transcend you know the biology especially if you're talking about like hybrid creatures bad for Elizabeth. Just make sure I'm not missing anything before we leave. Because all sorts of crazy things happened while we were out partying last night. Hmm. So this is where my old police badge was. Interesting. Oh, we have all sorts of new stuff. Okay, police badge. Evil's police badge with a scratch on it. 
the high temperature cutting has cut the surface into two and the numbers on the edge of the badge are barely recognizable. Seven, one, something, something, eight, five. Abel was the robot partner of Rex when he was working in the police op in the police office. The initial grouping of partners as a robot, Abel was turned away by almost everyone except Rex, who didn't really care. In the years that followed, the two partners worked closely together and cracked several important cases, and they became the most valuable members of the force. In the Apocalypse Garden incident, Rex almost died. To save the dying Rex, Abel merged his own mechanical parts with Rex, including the mechanical brain. When Rex was finally found in a coma, Abel was no longer there except for a pile of dismantled parts and this badge. Able. Okay. Uh, so here's a description. Uh, Noah is a name that has been haunting Starlight City Police Station and even the entire federal police force. Before he appeared, there hadn't been any unsolved cases in Starlight, but the police have been making a lot of trouble ever since. He's like a ghost and never leaves behind any clue about where who he is. The police can't even make any conclusion on Noah's gender. His work is well known, especially the work of the singing girl in the front of City Hall. The police had to establish the special mission squad in the shortest time to deal with Noah. He seems to have no certain standards in his choice of victims in terms of nationality, age, gender, ethnicity, occupation, and experience. He has committed crime in four times bones, but never crossed south of the equator. As the crimes look like the work of Basson, Noah is quite popular among the fanatics of the Rover Church and is even regarded as the messenger of God by some. In 2127, the revolutionists began their terrorist attacks. Noah's name had been forgotten by most people and no one has heard anything from him since. The reason for Noah's disappearance is unclear, but the special investigator will talk who has had several encounters with him, firmly believes that Noah is still alive and will make a reappearance at some point. Ooh, so many things. All right, so I guess we're heading back out. thinking that we're going to do something with that power unit. Oh, good lord. Let's just take a peek in on the cats before we go. They seem pretty content. I think we need to go in the kitchen again. They're so loud, you can hear them in the hallway. Oh, what's, what's going on here? Arnold, I probably won't see Robert again, but wherever there is a kite in the sky, I think of the friendship between us. Oh no. I heard something horrible from the society. Poor Mrs. Perry. We used to go to the anti-robot parade together, and she was the kindest person in the anti-robot society. I can't believe she was killed by a robot. You are not allowed to associate with the, these dangerous robots anymore, Arnold. Interesting. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's awesome. One, two, one, two, watch out, Melody, behind you. Focus, long hair, princess, 428, don't pass out like the last time. What? Keep on dancing, just like this. Everyone move on with me. Oh my gosh, this guy. That homeless guy, Christopher, was taken away by the police, and it looks like he was involved in Mrs. Perry's case. People say he might be the murderer. Isn't the murder a robot? How could such a thing happen despite the three principles restriction? I am worried that the events of the Apocalypse Garden will take place again. Who knows? Christopher is not coming back anyway, because the two candidates of the mayoral election are making a big fuss about the case. I heard that he used to be quite a successful person, but that his life went downhill after his lover was killed. He ended up as a homeless man on the street in the end. 
his lover. Are you talking about the singer 13 years ago? Christopher told us so himself. Well, he might have been drunk talking. Oh my god. That Now that's some, some gossip right there. I don't have any customers at all because of the murder yesterday. Such bad luck. A customer complained to me last time because of the cats and now this happens. My goodness. You know, this Sephora apartment seems to be haunted because strange things happened down there before as well. You we can actually go down that alleyway too. I'm just kind of curious. I don't know those as what those SMS agents did yesterday, but there sh should still be some clues there. I guess that's all we can do. This guy, yeah. What do you want to chat about? Uh, how about the missing robot? It seems like Alex is going to win the election, for sure. Why is that? The missing robots have stirred up so such con controversy that no one wants to vote for Amos Augusto in case they might get in trouble. Uh, what else do you want to chat about? How about the murder? Goodness me, Mrs. Perry was killed. I heard the murderer was a robot, a robot steward of a high-ranking official. I knew these robots were nothing but trouble. I also heard that a little girl witnessed everything. Poor girl, she must be having nightmares. Uh, Alright, I think that's all we're gonna get from that situation. Hello, little robot boy. Oh, Arnold said that he's leaving, and I hope he likes my kite. Oh, that's so sad. They can't be friends anymore. Look how happy my little cheese is now. He will not suffer any pain in this little digital world, and he, he will get all he wants. A little puppy that looks like cheese plays happily in the screen. But why? Why do I feel so miserable inside? Oh, This guy is super sus. I heard that if I go to Sky City, I will never get sick again. If only if I could afford it. Oh, it's a fisherman. The things I fish out are always covered in a purple sticky fluid that's very hard to wash off. Look, there's still some left in my finger. I wonder what it's from. That's super not reassuring. This guy looks super suspicious with his like briefcase. I don't know. All right, Morax. It's you again. Did you finally decide to become my test subject? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I came to ask your opinion on this piece of tech. Does it look familiar? The device from the mysterious parcel. It is very similar to the device found on the butler robot from the Mrs. Perry case. What is this? Is it a device that improves computing ability? Which robot's electronic braid did you cut, uh, cut open to get this? It's against the law to, exter to install external devices on electronic brains. Was this device connected to a robot's electronic brain? Of course it was. Look at these three port wires. Eh, does this thing interfere with the inner core directly? This is so unusual, indeed. However, this is some master craftsmanship, unlikely from the Underbridge district. You know, illegal alterations like this aren't uncommon there. The Underbridge district, it looks like I'll need to play that, pay that place a visit. Eh, old buddy of mine might know what this is. He has a workshop on Square Street in Underbridge. Piddly little thing compared to mine, of course. He's called Charles, and you won't be able to miss his huge white beard. So if you're not actually going to buy anything, can you please piss off? Okay. So we have a new memo. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it was just like, okay. So I guess we'll need to take a cab again. No. Bus station. My preference. Is this where the bud to the underbridge? This is where the bud bus to the underbridge district stops. Should I wait? Um, no, let's go ahead and take the bus. The underbridge district is pretty far away. I hope I have enough credits in my bus card. Oh, it's so cool.
Noah, that disgusting twist and murderer, who is responsible for the kill serial killings 13 years ago, has never been heard of all these years. It surprises me that he would appear in my hallucinations. Is it really him? Why would he appear all of a sudden? And this device, and the thing from the robot's brain, why would they provoke my hallucinations? Is it a coincidence or are they connected in some way? All the clues point to the Underbridge District. The latest missing robots cases all happen there and the police don't even bother to look into it because that area is considered to be a wasted land of losers. I don't know whether the king still remembers the little conflicts I had with him back then so I need to be careful. It's his territory. However, illegal alterations are pretty common there so it's likely that I can find information about this device. A device that gives me hallucinations of Noah. A fluffy robot in the post. I don't feel good about this. Alright guys, well before we get into it with these like ruffians um i'm going to end this here today um we need to look for charles and we've certainly gotten ourselves into some much deeper mysteries um that i think we initially expected um if you are enjoying this series please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and as always guys happy sipping.